editing Bridget here, trying to make this intro for this video. I have done so many takes and I can't seem to get it right, but it's fine. I think I finally got it. The original intro that I did, I did on the day that I was cooking. It did not have any sound to it or the sound was super low compared to the rest of the video. You could barely hear my voice. So I decided I'm just going to redo it. Why not? Take an extra five minutes to redo the intro which I have continuously botched since then. But anyway, in this video, I am making a salmon dish with zucchini and rice. Oh my gosh, I've tried saying that so many times and I haven't been able to and I finally did and I feel so accomplished. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, uh, I've been really liking it, this. I kinda wanna do more cooking videos because I really like cooking and I think it's a lot of fun. Um, next Wednesday, I plan on doing a French toast uh, review from Greg's Duchette's cookbook, his ana anabolic French toast. It's going to be a strawberry French toast. Um, and I might talk about a little bit of the other recipes that I've had in the book since I've gotten it. Um, and then if you like that, I might do more of those. Um, just reviewing the different recipes that I've tried and had and which recipes I like best. And then do more like just regular cooking videos because I'm kind of using his for breakfast and lunch, but I'll, I'll get into that in that video that I'm making about his French toast. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I plan on posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday if I can make it work, but we'll see. Um, also, forgive whatever weird eye thing I did. I'm not making this intro again, but just like forgive that. I'm so sorry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry if it looks a little shaky. I'm still kind of getting used to using just my phone because I don't have any other really good recording devices and both trying to cook and, um, holding my phone are difficult and I don't really have enough space to like prop my phone anywhere. So I'm, I'm still working on the best way to record what I'm cooking. Um, so be a little forgiving. I'm going to do the best I can with editing. Thanks guys, bye. All right, so what we're gonna need is gonna be salmon, obviously, for the salmon. Zucchini, rice, water for the rice, olive oil, this olive oil is specific for the zucchini. I've got this olive oil right here, which I got as a Christmas present from my uncle. You don't need to use the super duper fancy olive oil infused with lemon, but I'm using this for the, uh, salmon yeah for the salmon because it's going to taste super good with the salmon and it's going to help cut the fishy flavor of the salmon now we're also going to need garlic lots of garlic garlic is delicious if you think otherwise you're wrong you're also going to need rosemary this is for going to be for, you need enough for this mm, sorry can't speak Woo! you're going to need enough for the rice and for the salmon it's going to help tie it all together you're gonna need salt and pepper. Got okay. Salt and pepper. Now I use sea salt and ground black pepper because I is a fancy fish. Because I is a totes fancy fish. Well, you don't have to be a totes fancy fish, but I always suggest it. And then some lemon juice. This is also gonna go on the salmon to cut the fishy flavor. And then, what you also need. All right. And then for equipment, which is so very important. This is a metal ship. You need one of these or something similar to do your rice. Don't try to just put your rice in the pot because that's disgusting. You gotta clean your rice, man. Trust me, it tastes so much better if you clean it and the rice is just all around better. Big pan. I'm gonna cook my zucchini in this. Rice cooker. I like cooking my rice in a rice cooker because I don't have to worry about it. It does all the work for me. I don't have to remember a timer. All that bullshit. Fuck that bullshit. But you don't need it if you don't want it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. If you just have a pan and you want to do it old fashioned pan way, that's fine. And then we need this pan. This is where I'm going to put my salmon. And that's all you need. That is all you need. That is every single ingredient. And now we can start. Very first thing we're going to do is ignore the fact that this is messy as crap. I cook a lot and I forgot to clean this today when I did the cleaning. I'll wash my hands again. Don't worry. We're going to hit bake. And go up to 450 for the salmon. This is gonna be for the salmon. This is 
the first thing because ovens take forever. At least mine does. I assume yours does too because the ovens are not evil but difficult. Next, I'm pulling the salmon out of here. Now I got frozen salmon because your girl's broke and mm, what I'm gonna do is take my salmon out of here and put it on the thing. Oh, I got frozen salmon because your girl's broke and can't afford to get fancy salmon. So I just cut it out of the packet and put it on here. I'm gonna season it directly on here to save, you know, seasoning or save dishes. Why can't I talk? I'm so sorry. Now that we've got the oven going, we're gonna put this in here and clean it. Clean it real good. Get all of the dirt, get all of the dirt off of it. You don't want it to be dirty. The water should be running clear at the end. To clean, I'm now dumping it into my rice cooker directly. Ignore the bad angling, excuse me. All right, so it's in there. We're gonna take our water. Oh, hold on, my measuring cup's broken. It's hard to carry. So we're gonna take our water, pour our water in there. Now I use, because it's just for me, I use half a cup of rice and a cup of water because I don't need that much rice. To the rice, I'm gonna add just a splash of rosemary. This is gonna bring the flavor together that I've got with everything else. A little bit of salt and pepper. Really, you should do straight salt, but I thought about that after I put the salt and pepper in, so it's too late now. And then a little bit of garlic to add garlic flavor because garlic is amazing and should be used in everything. Not adding a lot. And then the one last thing you're gonna add is butter. I'm adding like about a tablespoon of butter. You don't have to add that much. I just really, I like butter in my rice a lot. So I'm gonna close it, gonna lock, and then I'm gonna turn it on. I have a plug in, I just had a double check. I'm gonna turn it on, set it to right rice. I'm forget about it until my next step. Next thing is to create the zucchini. Well, create, start cooking the zucchini. I'm gonna put mine on about medium high. Hold on. It got really awkward because I cleaned this today. It doesn't make for a great time when I'm starting to turn it on to the right afterwards. I just hope I don't explode my house. I need just a tiny bit of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. That should be plenty. Give that a second to heat up. Ooh, I'm trying to do this one-handed with my bad hand. Not great. Uh, mm, that's not good. I just realized all of my spatulas are in the dryer, or washing machine, dishwasher. Dishwasher, all of my spatulas are in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna just move around the oil, try to get it all over the base of the pan. This isn't necessarily the best way to do it. Again, also, by the way, sorry for the camera angles. I can't get them right. I've let the pan heat up for a second, get the oil nice and hot. It should be a little bit hotter, but I'm really impatient. So then we're gonna put the zucchini in and we wanna split them out, get them as flat as possible. Um, we want them to be flat across the base of it. And now this is only half a zucchini. Um, again, I'm just making this for me. There's nobody else eating this. So I didn't want to make a ton of leftovers because I'll eat it all. I'm not going to save it. I already know that, so I'm not even going to do it. So I'm going to spread it out. Hold on one second. You have it evenly spread out. I'm going to add all of the seasonings. We've got salt. And you can be generous with this. Go ahead. Do it. It's salt and it's delicious. Garlic. And the garlic... Mm, I should have added this beforehand, but it's too late now. So I'm doing the garlic. Garlic is mostly where this is going to go, so I'm going to add a lot of garlic because I love it. And I want this to taste a lot like garlic. And again, just a smidge of rosemary to bring the flavors together because there isn't going to be any lemon in this or anything. This is very, very lightly seasoned, but we'll season it more once we flip them. And last, we're doing our salmon. I waited because this takes the least amount of time. You're gonna end up waiting for everything else to get done if you do your salmon first, and you don't want that. Mm -mm, that sounds like just not a fun time. Cold salmon is not delicious. 
especially this is pink salmon and pink salmon is not my favorite but it's what i had in the fridge it was also what was cheapest at kroger so you know i did what i had to do so first things first is i'm gonna salt and pepper this side mm. dude i'm doing this so unevenly through a camera but it's fine it's fine. I'm also gonna put rosemary on it. Get a nice seasoned layer of rosemary. And just a tiny bit of garlic. Granted, that's it's not gonna work great. Shut up. I know. I don't need you judging me. And then last but not least, it's gonna be that lemon olive oil. So just a sprinkle of it. And then we're gonna flip. So I've now flipped it and done the same thing on the other side. The only other thing to do is gonna be to drizzle a little bit of lemon juice on it. Now the lemon juice is important because it helps to cut that really, really fishy flavor that salmon can sometimes have. Um, and it just balances out the whole dish in my opinion. Now I'm gonna wash my hands because I just touched a bunch of raw meat. And then I'm gonna get ready to pop this in the oven. So the salmon's ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna put it in for six minutes on this side. Uh, and I will check it and to see if it's ready to be flipped. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for it to cook, I'm gonna do dishes. I always suggest if you have downtime while you're in the kitchen, clean up after yourself. It's gonna make you feel so much better later when you don't have to do three days worth of dishes because you were too lazy to do them at the beginning. It's been 10 minutes, so I've gotta flip the zucchini. Now I like my zucchini crisp, so I left them on each side a little bit longer. If you don't like them necessarily quick, uh, you don't like them crisp, I'm so sorry. My English sucks all the time, it's okay. But if you don't like them as crisp, I would do them after seven, but I'm gonna flip them. I can't really do it on camera because I've only got this shitty crap uh, spatula because all of my other ones are dirty. But I'll flip them and I'll be right back. I flipped them, I didn't do a great job, but that's fine, it's life. Now, I may have overcooked them a little bit. I would say I probably should have left them on for seven minutes before I flipped, instead of 10. But that's okay. We all live and learn, make mistakes, man. Um, I'm only gonna leave this on this side for like maybe five minutes, because they're cooked almost all the way through. I just want the crisp on the other side. But my, uh, mm, words, English, man. My salmon's almost done, and I'm gonna flip my salmon when it's finished. And it's got 19 seconds, so I'm about to flip it just to make sure the other side gets nice and crisp. But let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks ready to be flipped. I know you can't really see it that well. Sorry, guys. So I flipped the salmon. It only needs about two more minutes altogether, so that's what I put on the timer. I'm gonna finish doing the dishes while I wait, and that while that cooks, and I'll be done with them about both the same time. Now, my dumb butt grossly underestimated the amount of time that I needed to cook the rice like a goober. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, and this is my secret that usually works pretty well and I got this from my mom, is I'm gonna pop these guys on a plate when they're done and then stick it in the microwave. And I'm not gonna turn on the microwave, I'm just gonna leave it in there. It should hold the heat pretty well. And that way they don't cool off too quickly while I'm waiting for my rice to be done. But I'll be back. Very much did underestimate the amount of time I needed. It's not even on the countdown yet for my rice. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave. Hopefully it keeps warm. Now I definitely say cook your zucchini less than I did. I personally like almost burnt zucchini. So I'm super for it because I like crisp. But just heads up, this is a little burnt, but I find it delicious. But anyway, in microwave. Shut the microwave, let it go. This actually works out really well because now I can clean this pan and this pan, which are gonna be like the most obnoxious things to clean while I'm waiting for the rice. And remember, clean while you wait. You'll think yourself later. Turns out the rice was actually done. I guess because it was less rice, it took less time because it was only a half a cup. And I think really the minimum for this is supposed to be like a full cup. But half a cup is also already a double serving. And your girl trying to eat portions that are correct and not fat ass. Um, and that is the correct term. So this is dinner. This is everything. I'm gonna add a bit more lemon juice 
onto my salmon just because I really the this specific salmon I have pink salmon I tend to feel like has a very fishy flavor that I um, in the least mean words can't stand um, but let's sit down and I'll tell you how it is all right so my first bite Zucchini, delicious desire. I feel like I can never go wrong with zucchini. And it's extra crispy, which like I said, I love. You can hate all you want, but I adore it. Mm. Rice, good, a little bit bland. I could have probably put more salt and more rosemary in it. Maybe even a little bit more garlic. Or instead of doing garlic the way I did it, some garlic powder. Or, if I wasn't being so lazy, I could have sauteed the garlic beforehand. But again, going back to that being lazy thing, not it for it. And, mm, may have gone a little heavy handed on the lemon juice, but otherwise, super good. And if you've done your salmon right, in theory, it should just pop off your fork with your fork. Oh, it's good salmon. That's how you know your salmon's done right. If you're cutting it with a fork, you've cooked it wrong. Um, that's all. I think the rice will taste fine if I mix it with my zucchini and eat them together. But, y'all have a good day. Subscribe. Follow my Twitch if you want to talk to me live and tell me how terrible of a cook I am. Um, follow my Discord. Link in the description. Oh, and... I'm planning on doing the French Toast from Greg Duchette's Annabelle Cookbook, hopefully next week. I just have to go to Costco to get the ingredients, which I don't have at my house. But once I do that, totally going to do it.